Hey there, welcome back. It's me again, that nerd kid ugly, aka Sean. Today we're doing one from Rogue Brewing out of Newport, Oregon. This is their Knuckle Buster Cold IPA. And it was a collab they did with a bicycling company, I want to say, or a motorcycle company. Might say it here on the can. I'm going to read it real quick. <sighs> Knuckle Buster Cold IPA. At Rogue, we're always work working on new ideas that break from the norm. This collaboration is no different. Our friends at Revival Cycles in Austin, Texas also like to push their envelope with their hand-built motorcycles. So teaming up on a new style of IPA that uses a cold fermentation, man, I can't talk. I don't know what's going on with me. Technique, fermentation technique, from fermentation, I'm done. I'm not saying that word. I'm moving on. Knuckle Buster Cold IPA turns out fairly light in body with a floral hop aroma and flavor. It drinks crisp and refreshing and perfect for winding down after busting your knuckles in the garage all day. It's a motorcycle company, not a bicycle company. So, like I said, like I said Cold IPA. This is coming in at 6.1% alcohol. Um, I'm not seeing any IBUs on the can. So I don't have that for you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I got this in a six pack mix packs in Wegmans and Williamsport. Um, I was kind of in a rush. This is the last one I grabbed because I haven't had anything from Rogue in a while. And unfortunately, I don't know if you can see that, but it was canned. Let's see if I can get this better for it. It was canned almost a year ago. Um, January 19th, 2022. This has been sitting almost a year in the can. It's not going to be fresh at all. So, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I do have my beer snobriety glass of a company that doesn't exist anymore because we don't keep good craft beer companies around for some reason. They just, I don't know. I guess nobody likes to buy custom glassware. Oh, that's coming out pretty foamy at the top already. Let's pour in. That's got quite the head on it, I have to say. So the head on this sucker is all four fingers high. Look at the, look at this head. Um, it pours kind of hazy looking. Um, it's definitely in that more golden straw type of a vibe going on there. Um, the head is a off-white kind of cream, dissipating real quick, bubbly. Hold on. So, yeah, there's that. You may hear my kid. They're looking for me right now. It's very floral. Very floral. Uh, a little earthy. Tiny bit of citrus. Yeah, it's not bad. Slight malt smell going on. But that head is outrageous. I don't know if it's from being in the can for so long. I don't know if it's from the glass. But... Look at that head. It's kind of got that golden straw, like I said. So let's get a sip on her. Yeah. Better. Very better. You definitely get that floral. Not much citrus. The citrus you do get is kind of like a tangerine. It's not, it's not strong. A little earthiness going on there. It's not bad. It's a decent little IPA. Um, and the bitter is not horrible. Daddy. But that could be from sitting for a year. Um, not bad. I'm going to give it a 3.25 out of 5. Decent little cold IPA. It's decent from Rogue. You know, Rogue's almost like one of the godfathers of, of brewing, really. These guys have been on for a long time. They put out a bunch of stuff. Um, like I said, I haven't had Rogue. I haven't had anything from Rogue in years. 
I think the last one was a dead guy ale, and that was years ago. Years upon years, like when I first started getting into craft. Like I said, like they're, they're one of the godfathers, so they kind of get pushed off to the side, like a Sam's Adams, a dogfish head. You know, that's the way she goes. If you want something that's easy, something for the summertime where it's warm out, this will be fine for that. Other than that, I'm going to go looking for it. I said, it's also not fresh. If I had it fresh, maybe it'd be different, but it's not fresh. I'll be nice. I'm going to give it a 3.5, 3.25 out of 5. Um, it is what it is. I want to get this one. As soon as I saw the date, I wanted to get this one done. Did a review for it real quick. I wish I would have paid attention. Or I would have grabbed it, but it is what it is. It happens. Until next time, boys and girls, cheers and thank you for watching.